Microsoft SQL Server has the ability to have multiple file groups within a single SQL Server database. We use file groups to isolate the I.O. operations of some objects from others. This could be used to isolate the I.O. operations of one table from impacting the I.O. operations of another table, or it could be used to keep the I.O. operations of an index from impacting the I.O. operations of the base table. File groups can have one or more database files per file group, so we've got a great amount of flexibility within the system when creating these file groups. So we can really pick and choose how we want to design the files and how we want to lay those out on the disk. Now, file groups can be added via T-SQL or through the SQL Server Management Studio interface. And I'm going to go ahead and show you both of those options during our demonstration. So here we have SQL Server Management Studio and we have our sample database. Let's go ahead and look at the properties of that database. And you'll see that we have two files and one file group. So adding a file group is fairly simple. We simply click the Add button and give the file group a name. We're going to go ahead and call this one Secondary Files. Now we can go ahead and click OK, and that will add the file group to the database. Or we can click the Script option at the top and create a T-SQL script to see what needs to happen under the covers. As you can see, the script to add a database file group is fairly simple. We simply do an Alter Database give it the name of the database, say add file group, and specify the file group. At this point, we would need to add files into the file group, which I'm going to show you in another video. You can name the file group basically anything you want, as long as it falls within the object naming requirements of SQL Server. So in summary, we use file groups to isolate the I.O. of some objects from other objects. Now, file groups can have more than one database file per file group if necessary. And when you do that, you're typically going to want to put one file per hard drive so that you can spread the workload out of that file group across the multiple hard drives on the server. As I showed you in the demo, file groups can be added fairly easily through SQL Server Management Studio or through Transact SQL. Now, adding a file group is an online operation, so there is no downtime required to add that new file group to the server.